Good morning, good morning, good morning. How you guys feeling? Let's see, we've got <clears throat> we've got an interesting market condition, to be honest. I did not really expect this to be the case in all reality, but just to, um, I guess, reference this a little bit. So I know that I forgot at the end of our session yesterday, I, I said I was going to go back and look at uh, NFP with you guys. So I did that last night, and I went and looked back at all these news release days. And as you guys can see, I'm pretty much all year actually all year, <laughs> reaching all back into almost all of last year. All these news releases have been bullish. And if you go back and you look at um, the ES1 chart or the SPX chart, if you're on a CFD Forex broker, um, it correlated every single day. There wasn't one day it didn't correlate. Every single day it correlated. If this was bullish, it was uh, S&P was bullish. Um, now today, this is interesting because it came out bearish. So... Let's wait and see how that pans out, um, but I do think it's interesting. So here's kind of what I am anticipating. So I want to mark out this high. Okay, so this is the high from after the news release. We'll mark this out as buy side liquidity. This is news release was right here. This candle goes up. This is the five minute chart. We go up and we sweep a bunch of buy side liquidity, right? And then we obviously React, sell off, take out sell side liquidity, but we've kind of just been stuck in this range now. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that uh, it's definitely in the realm of possibility, assuming that we get this news to correlate like it has been every day for the last two years on NFP day. Um, but we could get a sweep of this buy side, potentially a redelivery to this uh, old new week opening gap, and then potentially look to head lower for this level of sell side, this level of sell side, all the way down to that five minute order or breaker block that we missed our entry on yesterday. And, and just so just so I can feel a little bit better, how many of you guys caught the buy yesterday after our session? I know most of you probably didn't because you guys were waiting for this entry with me. Um, don't feel bad, I missed it as well. But I know a couple of you guys did capitalize because you guys were paying attention to some smaller time frames, and there definitely was a couple um, I'll, I won't lie. I looked at the one minute chart and it wasn't like the most amazing price action, but there was definitely areas you could have, I see where you guys could have entered. Right. So like, I definitely understand. Um, but you know, the market played out the way that we thought just didn't give us the setup that we wanted in order to catch it. But yeah, this would have been super, super clean. I really think that that could still be in play, um, for today. If we do get this sell off that I kind of have in mind. So We'll keep this we'll keep this in mind i'm gonna extend this all the way across but just so you guys know what it's from i wanted to just revisit that but yeah to me this was this was super clean um displacement up market structure shift in the five minute fair value gap right inside of um you know where are the breaker blocks right inside of this fair value gap came down one point from this entry here didn't even tap into the fair value gap so even if you were going to enter off the open of the gap you kind of got you kind of got left in the dust, unfortunately. So not we can do about that. All we can do is move on, right? So yeah, we'll wait and see how this how this pans out. One other thing that I wanted to mark out here. So this is the opening range gap low from yesterday. Um, obviously, right here. This is uh, let's see. This is the opening range gap high from today. Where's my line at? There we go. So this is the opening range gap high from current day. We'll go mark this out. And then we've got obviously the low right here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna delete this. I'm just gonna bring this back across over here. They're all kind of clustering up right here, so this is uh, an area of interest uh, as far as I'm concerned. So we'll annotate this. Opening range gap low. Middle right, boom. And we got opening range gap high. All right, so we should be good there. Let's go back to electronic trading hours. We should be all right. One last thing I wanted to look at, just, just for fun. I went and looked at it yesterday, and it would have been or not yesterday, the day before when we, we were trying to look for cells and it would have lined up perfectly. 
Uh, I'm curious to see on this price leg down that we're in this range. If we were to take this volume, this volume profile, yeah, look at this point of control, guys. Right, lines up right here. So I really would, I really would like to see a redelivery back down into here. Right on, right on. <clears throat> so yeah, guys, we're gonna see how this five minute candle closes. I want to see if this closes through here and disrespects this gap. Looks like it might, but we'll see. Could wick up and close inside the gap. Um, but yeah, if it does, we'll trail, we'll scale down to the one minute, and we'll try to find, we'll try to find a good entry. So we'll see here, guys. I'm waiting to see if we get some displacement up. Right now, everything everything bullish is still holding. Right, this five minute gap held, which lined up with this breaker. And now we've got a one minute gap here. So I would treat this as our one minute market structure shift with displacement. We'll see if we can get another gap here that we can get an entry off of. Well, anyway, what do you guys want to talk about? I'm kind of out, I'm, I'm out, I'm out of topics. There's no really news to report on, to my knowledge. I guess this will be a little bit of a heads up for next week. So I'll be standing up in a wedding next weekend and some guys are flying in from the wedding party on Wednesday. And we're supposed to be doing a bachelor party Thursday. So my plan is to still trade um with you guys but i probably won't be present thursday at all or wednesday at all during pm session so it's going to be kind of an am session only which is fine we've got cpi and ppi those days which that's kind of where i'd want to trade anyway is is after all that during during am session and then friday most likely we, we might trade but most likely, if anything, might not do a sh might not do a zoom. It might just kind of look at charts and send something in the Discord. So, just a little heads up on that. Little hectic on TikTok yesterday, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's not really much to comment on, really. This industry's fucked. To be honest. Just a bunch of weirdos. It's wild, man. The the whole like digital entrepreneur space. It's not just trading, it's it's e com, it's Bro, it's just why is it all so weird? Like, there's this Clearly we all need Jesus. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna interrupt this right now if we just pull right back up into here <clears throat> So how about this we'll see if this holds we'll see if this holds and starts reacting out of it And we can look to get short but Otherwise yeah, if this just ends up Taking out these highs you know, we could see it come here. Or just continue all the way to buy side, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty ambiguous. Yeah, we've got, we've got bullish SMT. All right, we are respecting. So here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I am gonna get short on ES. Uh, right now, I just went short. My stop's gonna go right above this, right at these highs. So that's about four points. 
But yeah, we gave this a chance to show its hand. It reacted off the gap. So to me, I believe the next draw will be lower. Um, we'll see if we're right. 44, 4250 is my entry. So 3750 is going to be TP1. But yeah, this also is in favor with the with the news. It's kind of an unorthodox entry than what we normally take because we waited. But our stop would have been in the same place even if we entered here. And we're inside this uh, this five minute, so we'd like to see this hold as an inverse for us. So we do got confirmations. I know this trade looks different, but we've got you know what I mean. We've got confirmations on our side. Perfect entry in the wrong direction, yeah. Well, you know, I didn't want to, I wanted to let this play out. I didn't want to just enter off rip and then have this thing just displace right through. You know, we got this nice reaction, even got a full bullish, or not bullish, bearish candle out of there, took the entry, right? Stop above the high. So to me, that was like waiting for extra confirmation. Yeah, it adds a little bit of risk because you're adding more points to your entry, but I'm still within, you know, I'm still under a half percent. So it's not like it's, it's not like it's high risk or anything. But yeah, all reasons for the trade. Um, basically, we disrespected the bullish five minute gap. You know, obviously multiple market structure shifts here. Now we're using it as a five minute inverted gap would be the idea, right? And then we've also got a lot of structure and one minute gaps all kind of in here as well so we're shooting we're shooting for lower sell side targets you know NQ already took out these highs was respecting everything bearish pulling back into here now as well I'll go I'll go mark it out after this after we're out of wherever whatever this you'd call this <clears throat> um, to be honest I mean, we'll see here. I'm not gonna make a judgment off the off the one minute. If anything, this entry is more so off the five minute structure, but this one minute price action doesn't look great. We really need to, we need to see this disrespect. If not, I mean, this is gonna just carry us up. Dude, just go take us out already. Thank you. All right. So minus a little less than a half percent on that. That clearly didn't work out. All right, um, let's go look at NQ. Starting to sell off, kind of. Well, this is not exactly the market structure shift I was wanting to see so far. So one tick into the gap, stop below this low would be less than three handles. Given, given how, um, and Q looks, I'd like to see, like, let's get an actual close above these levels. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see this wick down bearish close. That's, yeah, it's not really what we want to see. So as long as we get a nice close here, I do. I actually like this position. Um, you know, we are bullish overall. We've kind of seen that. This is all internal liquidity. And to me, this high sticks out like a sore thumb. And that's the draw if we're headed higher. And then, yeah, this would be our premium. If we go from this low here to wherever this finishes off, I mean, we're, I'm not premium, in a discount below here. So we kind of have the benefit of running these lows, remitigating this. You know, we're protected here. <clears throat> so I like this trade if we can get it. But yeah, if we if we push through and take out this high, like I said, it's a whole different whole different thing. We got macro coming in twelve. Well, I'm anticipating we run out this buy side. Um hope, hopefully we can get a nice little entry here. That's what I'm anticipating. Running out the buy side here. 
Um, potentially redelivering to New Week Opening Gap, redelivering to this. Was this a one hour? I think it might have been a one hour. Yeah. Little one hour. I guess you consider this a BPR. Buy side. Buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency lining up together. So I would expect a redelivery to here. I'm curious. This actually might be. <laughs> oh, the irony. That's equilibrium as well. Oh, what a quinky dink. And so that's kind of the story. Like when people say like, well, how do you know this stuff? Did you work for a bank? Did you work for this? Did you work for that? I don't know if we're ever going to get that technical of an answer. Cause to be honest, he's never answered it to my knowledge. Um, you know, he kind of alludes to the fact of like, it's almost like God gave it to him. Like God, like instilled this knowledge is kind of what the, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of what it sounds like. Um, obviously hard to say. All right. So I'm in a little light risk trade guys. This gap has been fully redelivered to now. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. But yeah, well, this is a good trade. This is a lot better trade than our first trade, to be honest. I feel a lot better about this one. Doesn't mean it doesn't mean it's gonna win, but it's a lot better setup. Okay. But yeah, I'm in. Last trade of the morning, regardless of how it plays out. Um, yeah, five handles. My entry's 48. So uh, what is that? 53. 53 is five for me. Right over yonder, right at these bodies, basically. All right, guys. Well, I'm removing risk right now. Actually, to me, this is good. We're not we're not going to take a loss at this point. We've filled the entire gap. We're pushing up. Nice reaction. Display higher. You know. So, I don't even want to see a redelivery to this gap. We're risk free. There we go. Boom. Took my partial. Come on. No, you can't partial one contract, unfortunately. I mean, yeah, if you have two contracts, you could sell one. But if you're just trading with one, you can't. No. Like, I could sell one contract right now. I'm a little tempted, but I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. If God wants to come down and get me out of break even and give me nothing today, you know what? Cleanse my soul, baby. Let's go. Come on, one more tick. Come on, go. Yes, yes. The high was taken, guys. Your first partial should be off the table. TB2 is up here at 10, guys. Nice. Back in profit on the account. Quarter, uh, quarter of 1%. Oh, my God. Yes, I'm the best trader in the world. Kidding. Kidding, kidding, kidding. Um, but yeah, so that's TB2, guys. TB3 is going to be... Where's that opening range gap? Low. Bro, is it all the way up here? Oh, that's the high. Ouch. Um, geez. Well, um, you know, you guys can leave a runner if you would so like to. Um, but I'll say this. I like this high right here. I like all this structure, to be honest, to get taken out. Um, there's a nice little imbalance right, right here. So to me, this is probably where I'd just to be safe and secure some profit. This would be good. This is the 15 minute chart, by the way. This would be good right here. That would be about 15 handles to there. So that'd be a good TP3. Um, and then, yeah, like I said, if you want to leave a runner, you can. Because let's go look at like the one hour. Yeah. <laughs> one hour, I I mean, this this would make sense. And this is all playing within the range of the week obviously right so man yeah it looks like that five minute breaker ain't gonna get redelivered to huh not today at least yeah this would be a good high as well oh geez like if you wanted to leave a runner 
this would be an amazing high and that would be 22 so yeah that would be good guys that'd be really good all right so let's just wait and see if we have tp2 guys if we start retracing back down here we'll just hop off and then just obviously wait and see what happens but yeah you should be risk-free and secured some profits i did close i did close half my position at tp1 um reasoning for it being is because of the first trade i lost four handles and closing half my position at tp1 five handles on this trade put me back a little in profit because i made back i made back uh what i lost There we go, TB2. Oh no, I'm sorry, guys. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. Now, now I'm back in profit after that one. I was wrong though before. I wasn't. I was. I was close, but it wasn't the math. That math. <laughs> that math was not math in there. Uh, this was. That was a four handle loss. Half my position at TB2 or TP1 was gonna have. Yeah, no. Not. But now I'm good. Now I'm good. little brain fart i guess but yeah so we'll see how price reacts from here guys tp2 was hit good work we got our 10 handles um looks like i could have got a little bit more out of this trade on top step all good um we survived the week it's a it wasn't the prettiest week by any stretch of the imagination but we made it out and hopefully on the right side for most of us especially if you got the trade yesterday like if you caught the trade yesterday going up after uh, our session then this actually probably was a really good week for you in all honesty but yeah, TP3 is up here, guys. Remove risk. Either we're going to get stopped at break even or we're going to continue higher and get other take profits. Otherwise, yeah, this was a good trade. Glad we got this one out to finish the session. Oh my God, we had to be so patient today. Two hours just to get this. Holy. So that's what being patient and getting rewarded looks like. So happy about that. I'll keep you guys updated in the Discord on everything. Um, and just depending on how things play out, we'll kind of determine how the rest of the day goes. But if I don't talk to you guys again um, for a PM session or anything like that, obviously reach out if you need anything. Um, hope you guys have a great weekend. Be safe. Have fun. And if nothing else, I'll see you guys on next week's sessions and in the Discord. Okay, have an amazing Friday, guys. Have an amazing weekend. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out. God bless. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.